Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Dana and this is Delighted to DIY. For this first DIY, we're going to take six spindle pieces from a baby gate that I had previously disassembled. Here I'm showing you that I cut off the nubby ends in my garage um, where they connected to the top and bottom and also cut down two pieces of thin wood. I'd say it's about a quarter inch by one and a half inches. They, it, I cut it down to what will be the width of this sign we're making. Then I had to remove two stickers from the spindles. I did this by heating it with my heat gun till it was warm then scraped it up with a metal scraper. Out in my garage I laid the six spindle pieces together um, side by side and then nailed with brad nails the two thin pieces of wood on top. I then used the bin shellac based primer by Zinzer and gave the entire piece two coats letting it dry in between each one. I mixed up some of Fusion's Milk Paint in Millennium Pink to paint the piece. I used just a cheap brush and painted it on. This stuff is very thin, so I'm spreading it out as best as possible. It also is suggested to not work it with it too much. I wanted the Milk Paint to chip as it will give you that effect. However, unfortunately, it didn't for me this time around, and I think it's because I used the primer. When I realized I wasn't getting the chippy effect, I just gave the entire piece a couple more coats and then moved on to the decoupage. With a beautiful napkin I found at Dollarama, I separated it so that I had just the printed part, leaving the two um, white pieces behind. Then I began ripping it so that I had kind of a longer piece and also ripped off the ends because there was a small little white strip. I didn't have any rhyme or reason or strategy for ripping it, I just wanted the ripped look. So once I was happy with where I had ripped it, when I would kind of dry fit it by putting it on the board take it off maybe do some more ripping once I was happy with it um, and and you can do whatever you like with it really um, when you're happy with it then we're going to decoupage it on by putting a layer of the matte decoupage by DecoArt and then placing it on tapping it on and then um, putting a layer of the decoupage on the top as well Today's video is part of an open invite. It's the Sunday Funday open playlist hosted by Deco Easy, which is Janie and Diane, as well as their co-host from The Crafting Cousins, we have Trish and Kay. These ladies are amazing. I highly suggest you check out their channels if you haven't already. I will have a link to both the channels of these four ladies um, in my description box, as well as a link to the playlist. If you're new to my channel, welcome, and if you're a returning subscriber, thanks for supporting me if you like what you see be sure to give it a big thumbs up it really helps my channel or consider sharing it with others who may like it um, and if you want to see more of my content consider subscribing by hitting the red subscribe button and if you hit the bell for all you'll be notified by YouTube every time I upload a new video I hope you stick around for the second DIY as you'll see what I do with a thrifted ceramic pie plate Here's a tip for you when working with the tissue paper or napkins such as this. Wetting the areas or where you want to rip makes it 10 times easier. So here I'm just using my finger and a bit of spit, but you can use your paintbrush and water also um, to wet where you want to rip and then it makes tearing it a lot easier and um, it keeps it um, from, it keeps it going where you want it to rip rather than going off track. Once I had both edges completed, I then went back and took little pieces and just put them in where I thought they looked good. Um, again, this is kind of really just however you like it to look. Um, this is how I wanted it to look and I wanted it to kind of have as if maybe this pattern was all over and it's worn off in places. So that's kind of the look I was going for and was trying to achieve. Next, using a coat rack that I thrifted for a dollar from my local thrift store, I'm going to remove the golden hooks. Um, I only needed four, there was five that came on this, but I just used my screwdriver to remove them and then used the four of the hooks for the new hanger that we are making, the cottage core uh, nursery hanger, I guess you could call it. So I laid them on, measured them out, then just marked with my pencil where I was gonna drill some pilot holes with my power drill, my Mastercraft power drill. 
Um, and then once the pilot holes were drilled, I just went back in with my handheld screwdriver and replaced all the hooks onto our new piece. I just jiggled around the hooks to make sure they were fully tightened without over tightening them, as you will see right here. To hang this piece, I attached a couple of sawtooth hangers on the back, and that is it. You'll have to let me know what you think in the comments below. For DIY number two, we're going to take this ceramic pie plate that I thrifted from my local thrift store for only a dollar, my kind of price. Um, I started by removing the tag and giving it a good clean. Because this is such a slick surface, I used Miss Mustard Seeds bonding agent. Typically it's used with milk paint, but I thought I'd give it a go on here to see how it would help my chalk paint adhere. So I gave it a good layer all over the inside because I have plans to cover the outside with something else that you will see coming up. So I hope you stay tuned. Once the bonding agent was completely dry, I went in with Rust-Oleum's chalked paint in blush pink and gave the inside and up the sides of the inside edges a complete coat, letting it dry before just touching up and kind of giving it a light second coat. When the paint was all dry on the inside, I then measured how high the pie plate was. Then I took some of this beautiful fabric that I got at Fabricland. Um, it's Canadian, I believe. I'm not sure if there is a Fabricland in the States. I don't believe so, but I've heard and believe that Joann's or Hobby Lobby sells fabric also. So anywhere you want to get fabric or really anything to cover the outside, I guess you could also use tissue paper or napkins and decoupage that way but I found this beautiful fabric and wanted to use it. Taking the height of the pie plate and adding about a quarter to a half an inch, I marked along the fabric, then connected it with my ruler, then cut this out. Using my decoupage, again, Mod Podge works just as well in this instance, I put a layer on the pie plate, the outside of the pie plate, then carefully pressed on the fabric, lining it up with the very edge of the pipe, the top of the pie plate. I went around in this manner the whole way, just adding in sections some decoupage onto the pie plate then pressing my fabric onto that section um, again into the crevices and cracks once this was all done I turned over the pie plate and anywhere that there was some excess I just trimmed it off leaving again about a quarter to a half an inch and I decoupage that onto the bottom then where the seam meets I cut it so that there was very little overlap but there is just a bit um, I didn't want it to meet I did want a bit of an overlap but again added some decoupage in after I trimmed it added the decoupage then pressed my fabric down on the one side then put a little more decoupage then pressed it down on the other side to finish off the bottom with the decoupage I made little slits about an inch apart to help the fabric lay flat to the bottom I then would add a layer of decoupage push down the fabric then decoupage on top of it I did this um, same manner same process all the way around for all the edges till it was all um, decoupaged down to the bottom then on my computer I made this printable and as soon as I figure out how to offer free printables to you guys without having a website so if anybody knows how that would be awesome I will start offering them to you guys but I printed this out on tissue paper then went to put it into the pie plate and then press down and trace to give myself kind of a pattern then cut it out I will suggest um, cutting off any pencil marks so maybe cutting a little on the inside of the pencil line I didn't do this and went back later on you'll see I have to cover it up but then went in with a layer of a glue stick and lightly press this down I do like the tip that I got from Tammy from the rusted willow about using the glue stick as I am able to kind of lift up and reposition slightly I also find that I do get less 
wrinkles and crinkles. So once this was pressed down from the inside out, I again went inside from the center out with my decoupage and lightly put a layer all over to help hold this down. I also did the insides of the pie plate as you are seeing here just to give it all a cohesive look. Um, there is a bit of a sheen even though it is matte um, but I did do all of it and I also decoupaged on the outside to help adhere the fabric a little more and to make sure that it was good and attached at the edges. So here I'm showing you where I didn't clip off some of the pencil marks so it was an easy fix. I just took some more of this blush pink chalked paint by Rust-Oleum and a small paintbrush and just dabbed it on to cover it up. This also did kind of blend the edges so if you want to do it um, regardless of pencil marks or not by all means. There are a couple options to display this. You could use a photo stand or a plate um, holder for your wall or just lean it against the wall. I hope you like these DIYs. You'll have to let me know which one was your favorite in the comments below. And if you liked it, why don't you consider hitting that like button or sharing it with friends. Also, if you want to see more, consider hitting that subscribe button because I love to do DIYs and thrift flips. If you want to see more, why don't you check out one of these two videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.